So I'm now going to talk a little bit about branching. So with Git, branches are somewhat different to uh, branches in source control tools like Subversion. In Subversion, a branch is a copy of the the trunk, for example. So you work up, work on trunk, you commit your changes when you want to create a branch, you basically copy the state of the trunk directory into a directory called branches in the Subversion repository. And it's basically a, a sort of shallow copy like that. With Git, a branch is very different. A branch is merely a pointer to a particular commit. So in this case, we're on our branch called master, which is sort of the, the default branch. And we can see which commit that branch points to, and it's the latest commit in our repository. And if we actually go into the repository directory, the .git folder, you can see there's this subdirectory called refs, and another one called heads. And if we go in there, we can see there's this file called master. And that's basically what a branch is. It's a uh, file in the heads directory, and if we actually uh, edit that and have a look what's inside it, it merely gives us the SHA-1 ID of a particular branch. So all it says is master points to this commit, which, uh, as you can see on the repository visualizer tool, that's the same ID as that one there. And basically what happens is each time you make a commit, the contents of that file updates to point to the ID of the latest commit on that branch. So if we create a new branch, let's say, typically with, with, with Git you create uh, branches for each feature you're going to work on because branches are so lightweight and easy to work with. So let's say our boss comes along and says uh, I want a new page in the application which shows us a uh, featured artist on our music store. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say git branch featured featured artist and by issuing that command it's created that new branch. So I can type the git branch command and it shows us the two branches in our system. At the moment we're on master, it's got the little star next to it, and we can switch to that branch by saying checkout, and checkout basically switches the contents of our working directory, which in this case, not that one, is the root of our repository directory, and then the name of a branch. So in this case we want to switch to the featured artist branch, and what you'll see is everything looks exactly the same. And that's because at the moment our featured artist branch points to exactly the same commit as master. And we can see that by bringing up the uh, visualizer. You can see that featured artist and master are both pointing to that same commit. And if we actually go into the repository, refs, heads, you can see there's this now featured artist file. And if we open that, it also points to that same commit. So let's say we uh, want to add our new new branch. So I'm just going to create a new controller in our MVC application. Call it Featured Artist Controller. Let's create an index page and create a view. And I'm just going to put a little to-do in there. And I'm going to build the application. And let's have uh, in our master page a, uh, a link to that. link to the featured artist page so if we now run our application we should get an extra link in the menu somewhere and if we click on that at the moment it just says to do show featured artist so this is our initial work on our featured artist page so if we run the git branch command again it'll just remind us that we're on the featured artist branch at the moment so I'm going to do git add dash a so add our new files and I'm going to say commit began work on featured artist page. Okay, and that's committed, and that's committed to the current branch that we're on, which in this case is featured artist. So if we bring up our 
repository history, we can see that the featured artist branch has moved forward to point to our newest commit. Meanwhile, master stayed where it was, pointing to the commit before that. So although we've got two branches, there's not really a branch in the sense of a divergence in history. Um, at the moment, the history is still linear, we just have one commit after the other, but our branch pointers point to different uh, branches. So if we were to, for example, say, check out master, switch back to our master branch, and we go back to Visual Studio, we will see that in our controllers directory the featured artist controller has now disappeared because our current branch is master which was before we created that featured artist page likewise if I check out featured artist again get back to Visual Studio it's reappeared so by switching between the branches git will automatically update what's in the working directory